Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com out here for another review and today we're talking boots. These guys right here which are the Pilgrim TSC DS by AKU Outdoors. So what are they? Well they're actually designed and made for paratrooper special forces and people that fast rope and hot think kind of desert climates. With that there's actually some pretty cool technology that has gone into these. The upper on the boot is made out of a Air 8000. It is some sort of polyamide, basically really breathable. Again, made for hot climates, think deserts. So plenty of breathability there, also really strong. And then also the uppers are made out of Italian suede. There's also a EVA midsole, which you can actually feel right here. And the idea behind it is to shed high temperatures, especially when fast roping, when that gets screaming hot right there in your insole. And the sole is a Vibram curcuma, probably mispronouncing that. It is a anti-static nitrile compound that is really good with respect to heat and oil resistance. With all of that said, what has been my experience with these Pilgrim boots? Well, Taking them on a number of backpacking trips, both up Strawberry Mountain and also coming up here. And they've continued to do a good job for me. I will say there's plenty of strength and at the same time, kind of some flexibility in the sole. Where when you step on something, you're putting your weight on it and you're pretty certain it's not going to move, which is important, especially going across like boulder fields where there are most certainly consequences if you fall definitely like overall really stable boot and the other thing that i actually do like about them is they're not very hot most boots honestly most boots are hot these are not gore-tex i think you might be able to get them in gore-tex these are not which is good because gore-tex keeps moisture in as much as they say it breathes probably breathes a little but these are definitely even though they're like actually have some support in here they're still relatively lightweight and they definitely do breathe pretty well which is really important in those hot climates but Ivan what about parachuting and fast roping don't know haven't fast roped in years I'm sure they would actually probably do a good job with that insert right here if you've ever honestly even just rope climbs in the gym climb up and then start coming down this can get screaming hot let alone like 30 40 foot fast rope so i think that's actually pretty cool that they do that use case for most people probably not really there but pretty cool feature built into it personally i have wider feet and tend to wear like minimalist stuff especially at the gym around town when you start getting into more technical terrain, sometimes end up straying from that. And these I don't feel to be super constrictive and not that it's a huge toe box, but even with my wide feet going over technical terrain with these laced up, it's not uncomfortable. And if anything, it just adds to some stability there. Size wise, find them pretty true to size. I wear usually 10 and a half, 10 and a half wide. These are 10 and a half. And price wise, you're looking at, I wanna say around 250 bucks. Is that expensive? Is it cheap? I don't know. It's not made in a sweatshop. They're made over in Europe. Could be a European sweatshop. These are made in, I wanna say Romania, but you pay for it. There's definitely a lot of features built in that are fairly niche. Consequently, you have a yeah, like handmade boot made in Europe that is probably more expensive than something you're gonna go find at a sporting goods store. But if you are looking for a solid pair of like summer weight, hot hiking boots that you can actually like safely carry a pretty heavy load in over uneven terrain, I would check these out actually pretty cool boots you can find a link down below get them straight through their website and yeah overall been pretty pleased with them lastly if you appreciate my content and want to support it 
greatly appreciate it. One of the ways is going over to Teespring, get in some sweet t-shirts, whether it's a professional human one or maybe a gray death adder one. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.